I have a long history of encouraging annotation um, in print in, in, previous, um, in, in previous courses that I've taught before I adopted digital annotation. And I always introduce annotation in, in general as something that is going to be able to in, enhance students understanding of text, but also their ability to write about texts. Um, there's so much anxiety among students about uh, writing and they, they tend to, um, as, as Mary was saying, see reading is almost the invisible link. They don't, they don't really make the connection and all the anxiety is, is about this, this product that's going to get judged and critiqued. Um, and so I, I, I've always stress how important annotation is in terms of um, that, that end goal that they're so concerned about, um, that without really digging apart and learning how to, how to, to, to dig texts apart and understand one's own thinking about the text that they're engaging with, that, that, that writing, all forms of writing, but particular academic writing gets to be that much more difficult. So I try to introduce it as something, a tool that's gonna to be very helpful to them and that will lower their anxiety levels once it's something that becomes um, a part of their discipline, a part of their writing routine. Uh, so in terms of introducing hypothesis and in terms of introducing digital annotation, it, the, our students are digital natives um, at this stage in history. And, and um, they, they take very quickly to the tool, uh, it's such an easy tool to use. But I, I, I spend more time up front, sort of giving them examples of um, an annotation that I've done. I usually model my own annotation and, and talk through the process with them and how it started with looking at various texts and how it ended up with uh, my ability to be able to make connections between texts. That's, that's something that they, they can concretely see, oh, okay, this is exactly how this is going to help me when I have a writing assignment. 